There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. You look like you haven't experienced the best of what this town has to offer. That really won't do. Not interested. <laughs> then maybe you can show the town what you have to offer instead. Which is to say, why don't you try putting those finely honed mercenary skills of yours to good use here in Wall Market? I have a few little requests that you might be able to help out with. <laughs> I gave that hand extra special treatment. Now get out there and show me what you can do with it. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. I thought I told you. No peeking. Stock other stuff too. Thanks a bunch. Pretty funny place, isn't it? Whoa, look at that. That old weapons vendor is a total weirdo. He's not a bad guy. 
look at this garbage. Can't someone do something? Look! A Type 60 tank and Rocket 13! Looks like a pile of crap. How's he about to use a smoke? So weird. I have sworn it's just my time. The angel of the slum strikes again. Oh, so you're the new merc looking for work in Wall Market. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations bound for the Leaf House. The fiends! The culprit is none other than the notorious Angel of the Slums. People worship her as some kind of folk hero, but there's no denying she's the one that done did it. I mean, look at this calling card. The Garden Angle 3? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. Oh, come on, Garden Angle. Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the Angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring them here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved guardian angel. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. <laughs> the Garden Angel strikes again, suckers! <laughs> and all it took was one fake card. Too easy. Sucks to be you, Miss Angel, but which you pay? It's you! The hell are you doing coming after us? Shit! Oh, play dead! Play dead! Shut up! It's too late for that! <laughs> Bring it! We're ready for you this time! Wakey, wakey! Time to shine! <laughs> Check out this brick shit house. We picked him up at the Coliseum. Gonna pay you back double, nah, quadruple for what you've done to us. What's a druple? Hey, what are we doing? Huh? Shut up! We're kicking Blondie's ass for being an ass! <laughs> Let's do this. <sighs> Calling fire. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 
Mate. You're mine. You're coming with me. These are the angels of the slums? Oh man, you're real stupid! We're the garden angels! Get it right! Shut your trap, moron! Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah, I recognize the masks. These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should've listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square, once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox! Yeah, you lummox, you lummox! So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better, even. It's the angel of the slums! She took the darn stuff! He's gonna be pissed! Well, I'll be seeing you. Huh. Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. The guardian angel of the slums. Radiant defender of the downtrodden? Huh. Wonder if I'm an accomplice. Show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Endurance and determination, that's what counts. Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichord left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squad off. Now, let's all see what you've got. No way I'm letting you win! Your form's looking good. Yeah. Not bad at all. <laughs> You've got this. Come on. Yeah. That's how it's done. <laughs> I knew you could do it. <laughs> You've got this. Come on. <laughs> That's how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the best you can do. <laughs> Not bad at all. <laughs> Your form's looking good! Not bad at all. You've got this, come on! I knew you could do it! That's how it's done! Not bad at all. Your form's looking good! I knew you could do it! You've got this, come on! You should try to get into a rhythm. Yeah. 
<laughs> Not bad. How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud? We're all one big family here at this gym, and now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. That's enough of that. Should probably get back to Madam M's. It's absolutely legendary. Out of curiosity, monster. How'd you like a piping hot bun filled with the finest, most delicious? Pretty rowdy. I think this is where they said to me, isn't it? <gasps> Why, hey there, champ. Got word from Madam M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. So, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? We've got a hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go another round or ten. And something tells me they're not gonna rest until they see you kick ass again. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP! Here he is, the man of the hour. Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. This challenger wanted another bite at the champ. One of Sam's favorite machines of mayhem, Cuddy. He's been sharpening his blades and dreaming of payback. Can our champ come out on top again? Fighters, begin!
welcome. Here we go. Gotta be careful. Get ready. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Come on. Not that long. Second wave. for sweet revenge has ended in bitter defeat. Very nicely done. <laughs> Here's your cut. You earned it. Wait, you're here? What about Aerith? My people are working on her hair right now. I thought I'd take the opportunity to drop by and watch her match. <laughs> I have to admit, I never get tired of seeing Sam's precious toys take a beating. <sighs> All right. I can tell by your hands you've come a long way. They're the hands of a fighter who has found new purpose. A woman. Or two? I wonder. Just doing what I've always done. <laughs> anyway. Aerith should be finishing up soon. I'll go on ahead to check on her. Whenever you're ready, come back to the parlor. Hey, been waiting for you. So, what are you in the mood to fight? No holding back. Brace yourself. Let's go.
Time to burn. Going in. You're done. Let's get this over with. Not bad. Try this. You're mine. Here we go. Burn. Let's do this. That it? No holding back. <laughs> Calling fire. No escape. Gotcha. You're mine. Was never in doubt. Come back anytime you want to fight. Hey, 
Hey there, friend. Grab a seat. Any seat that's open. So, what will it be? Pops right here. Yes, right here. Dozens of flavors to try. Step right up, step right up. I think this is what they said to me. She's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like... How'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said... Call themselves. <laughs> the way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Please, <laughs> big, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart, stand-up guy like myself? No. Oh, come on, bro! Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh... I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Again. Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. really yeah Corneo's got certain tastes this dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in uh, 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 yeah cloud uh, uh, excuse me huh. hey wait a minute 
Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed tonight? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. Yes, have just one. The more you eat, the better they get. She's not bad at all. What? Say that again. Don't be like that. You're still the most beautiful girl in the world. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I've done it again. Spent my whole paycheck on my favorite I get what it means. That dress was completely overshadowing. She's you were like the beautiful flower. Man. That blooms Time to go. This is it. You're destined. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Hey. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I've dreamt of this moment. The Honey Bee Inn. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? 
Mm, darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. <laughs> Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Think you can follow my lead? I'm in love. 
Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Born for this. of the heart, a thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. That show today blew my mind! Hey, look at me! I can dance too! How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. I'll buy it you was a drink. Amazing. Drink and talk. Now that was, was it a show. From the start? Probably not. Did you see their look of surprise? I'm gonna look at her. On stage. Cloud. They don't be my big boy. Look at her. You go, Cloud. The Hello. Slice of life. Wouldn't you agree? Aerith to Cloud, come in. Aerith to Cloud, come in. One more drink, what, 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 what do you what say? It's a getting quick late. Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! She's the prettiest girl I've ever seen! Hey, watch the way you walk! Come on! I'm buying. Such beauty buying is the spice of life. We get ramen. Wouldn't you agree? That place up ahead is really good. Oh, I'm so lost. Hey, little lady, you lost <laughs> or something? Yeah, sure about these no, uh, Come on, give it to me, please. I'm begging you, miss. Get away from me before I scream. Like I give a shit. Corneo has an understanding of the trio. You know the right power. Hey, little lady, are you lost? One more drink, what do you say? Oh, what's this? <laughs> One magnificent <laughs> blossom. I'm gonna perform on stage. <laughs> Is the most beautiful girl in the world. Talk about being popcorn here. Whoa, that is one hot chick. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. 
Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's... Hey, not... hands to yourself! That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. Go to your room and wait. Quietly. so dizzy gas uh, uh. come on damn it cloud hey <laughs> 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 pretty ladies doing feeling a little lightheaded but i can't have that Let's say we escort you to the parlor, so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now, Nancy Daisy. Hey, you handle with care, asshole. The hell? You want to throw down the Corneo girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a warm. I know. Man, it's to wrangle some real lookers this time, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I've got what I came for. What? So... After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get someone on one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps.
So? <sighs> well? Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies, let's hustle. All right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm-mm. <sighs> uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is. Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you! I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Don't you stupid! Wait! Hmm. 
Good job, Aerith. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing huh. here? Hey, yeah. ain't you two the rejects? Why don't you lead the Let way? Me oh. it. <laughs> okay. Hey! Bring it! Watch yourself. Here goes. All the way. Too late. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy bastard. I am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! <sighs> Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip him off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. 
by targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! The answer lies... In the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the 